Imagine a battle between galaxies, vast titans made of stars, gas, dust, and dark matter, locked in a high-speed cosmic clash. This rare event, called a cosmic joust, took place over 11 billion years ago and has now been observed for the first time by astronomers. Using powerful instruments like the Very Large Telescope, VLT, and ALMA in Chile, scientists witnessed a quasar, a brilliant light powered by a supermassive black hole, firing intense radiation that disrupted star formation in a nearby galaxy. In this video, we'll explore what this cosmic joust tells us about galaxy behavior, how quasars can shut down star formation, and why this discovery is so crucial to understanding our universe's earliest chapters. For decades, astronomers have theorized that quasars can exert destructive influence not only on their host galaxies, but also on neighboring ones. Now, for the first time, they've observed it in action. The cosmic joust event involves a galaxy with an active quasar spearing a nearby galaxy with beams of intense radiation like a knight's lance in battle. The two galaxies were found racing toward each other at an astonishing speed of over 1.1 million miles per hour, 1.8 million kilometers per hour, colliding in both a gravitational and radiative assault. Using the VLT and ALMA in Chile, scientists were able to peer back 11.4 billion years to capture this rare interaction. ALMA, with its sensitivity to cold molecular gas, detected the dispersal of star-forming hydrogen molecules in the companion galaxy. Meanwhile, the VLT's high-resolution spectroscopy revealed how the quasar's radiation was heating, ionizing, and fragmenting the galaxy's molecular clouds. Typically, these molecular clouds act as stellar nurseries, cradling the hydrogen needed to birth new stars. But here, the quasar's onslaught disrupted this process entirely. Star formation didn't just slow, it halted. The hydrogen gas was no longer able to cool and condense due to the constant bombardment of high-energy radiation, making this event the first clear observational evidence of what scientists call quasar mode feedback. This discovery is monumental because it goes beyond theoretical predictions and computer simulations. It captures the interplay between radiation, matter, and galactic dynamics in real time. Moreover, it validates long-standing models suggesting that quasars can suppress star formation not only within their host galaxies, but also in nearby systems during galactic mergers. A fundamental process that determines how galaxies assemble and evolve over billions of years. At the heart of this cosmic joust lies one of the universe's most powerful engines, a quasar. Quasars are active galactic nuclei, AGN, powered by supermassive black holes consuming vast amounts of matter. As gas and dust fall into the black hole's accretion disk, they are superheated to millions of degrees, emitting powerful jets and radiation across all wavelengths, from radio to X-rays. In this specific galactic duel, the quasar didn't just illuminate the sky, it altered the fate of another galaxy. The ultraviolet and X-ray radiation from the quasar ionized the gas in the neighboring galaxy, preventing it from collapsing under its own gravity. Star formation depends on cold, dense molecular clouds, but when heated and ionized, these clouds can't reach the conditions necessary to form stars. Instead, they fragment into tiny clumps that lack the critical mass to initiate stellar fusion. What makes this scenario even more fascinating is the scale of the disruption. The quasar affected molecular gas tens of thousands of light years away, showing that the impact of a supermassive black hole is not confined to its own host. High resolution observations revealed that the gas in the affected galaxy was compressed into compact regions far smaller than those seen in similar galaxies without quasars, confirming that the radiation was not just altering the chemistry, but also the physical structure of star forming zones. In addition, this event provides an observational anchor for the concept of AGN feedback, 
a fundamental component in modern cosmological models. Feedback from AGNs helps explain why massive galaxies stop forming stars, a process called quenching, and why we observe a correlation between a galaxy's mass and the mass of its central black hole. Without such feedback mechanisms, simulations predict that galaxies would be far too massive and too bright compared to what is actually observed in the universe today. One major implication of this discovery is the role of mergers in triggering quasar activity. When galaxies collide, their gas and dust can funnel into the central black hole, feeding it and igniting quasar activity. This, in turn, leads to powerful feedback effects that can either stimulate or suppress star formation. In this case, the quasar acted like a cosmic scalpel, slicing through the molecular clouds and stalling the formation of stars, an example of negative feedback. These feedback loops are crucial for explaining the diversity of galaxies we observe. Why do some galaxies end up as red, dead ellipticals with no new stars, while others remain vibrant, spiral-shaped factories of star creation? Events like this cosmic joust offer a tangible answer. They show how intense energy release from a central engine can regulate a galaxy's life cycle, sometimes even shaping its morphology and stellar population. This observation also bolsters the predictive power of the Lambda Cold Dark Matter cosmological model, which relies heavily on feedback mechanisms to reconcile observations with theory. It supports the idea that black holes, once considered passive entities, are in fact dynamic architects of galaxy formation. Finally, this discovery reminds us that the universe is not static. It's a dynamic, ever-changing arena where colossal forces clash, creating and destroying in equal measure. As we continue to explore deep space, we may find that such galactic duels are not the exception, but a fundamental part of the cosmic dance that governs galaxy evolution. Thank you for watching. Stay curious and keep exploring the wonders of the universe.